Good morning everyone from a sunny St. Helena. We are now near Blue Hill. This path leads to the Pigdale, Lot Trail and Blue Point Trail. However, we're not going to do this full trail because it's a very long one. We're going to do the uh, Blue Point Trail, but we're going to skip some part of it. We'll start a little bit further down the trail. This is Blue Hill and uh, Hako is looking for one of her hair clips on the side, which fell off. As you can see, the weather changed a lot. It was very sunny before, now it's suddenly cloudy and kind of rainy. Normally you can see high peak from here, but it's impossible to see it now. You can start different trails from this point, um, but they are a lot longer. So to find the trail we got a map from the uh, tourism office in Jamestown. Unfortunately the maps are not very helpful, neither the explanation, so we're a bit lost. Eventually we did find a saint who helped us to find the Blue Point Trail. There are signs but they are very low to the ground sometimes and we just passed them without realizing that they are there because we didn't see them from the car, but we are on the way now. We are on the correct trail now, Blue Point. As you can see, this sign is quite high, but some of the signs are literally on the ground. And if you pass by with your car, you might miss them. So some of the signs are not so easy to spot. As you can see, the weather is still a bit so-so. It's cloudy and it's very windy. We're going to start the trail anyway, as the weather changes quite quickly here. And maybe by the time we reach the end of the trail, it might be sunny again. As you can hear, Haku really loves it here. She's in very good shape today and she's really ready to walk. You can see the different colors in the soil again. So some red parts, some gray, some brown. Also nice is that many of the trails and many locations around the island have uh, picnic areas with uh, benches and uh, often they do have uh, rubbish bins as well. So they do take well care of the island and there are some very nice places to picnic. All these uh, post box walks, they have a post box at the end. It's basically just a small box with a stamp and a book inside. And uh, you can stamp a souvenir or a paper to prove that you have done the trail. And you can also leave a note that you were there. We've been walking already for a while, the trail seems to be quite long. It's not so difficult, but make sure you have nice and comfortable shoes, which are suitable for hiking because the, the trail is a bit tricky 
in some parts. But uh, at the end, hopefully you will get to see an amazing view. And there is another sign here, but uh, this is not the end, I think. Still have to walk a little further. And cactus is here and lots of rocks. Lots of rocks, but the view, it's really beautiful. And very diverse, you can see the difference from one mountain to another. <laughs> and here you see Jordi trying to balance his camera, his backpack and the drone at the same time not to go on his face because it, it can be painful I think if you fall here. Uh, we came across a group from uh, Blue Lantern. We're doing also the hike the same day. Now we are heading back already. Let's see if we take the same road or we find another trail to see something different. seems to be only one trail, so we're going to try the drone and see if we can have some nice videos from it.
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. There will be more videos coming from St. Helena. We end our day with these very nice fish cakes and some empanadas. And for a main course, pork and fish again.